tremendous stress. It seemed like there was a very strong campaign against me. They said, listen, you're not going to win the vote. Why don't you just resign and save the church from a lot of hurt? I'm John Iskett, pastor of Faith Baptist Church in Palatka, Florida. And Pastor Resources has asked me to share my story. It seemed like there was a dark cloud over Palatka and really a dark cloud over our church. Out of 410 cities in Florida, it's the only one that's not growing. I started to have problems when uh, I wouldn't do what they wanted me to do. For about two and a half years, I tried to accommodate all the people without compromising. I tried to work things out with these deacons as there was increasing friction. A couple other people stood up and they also said some very ugly, hurtful things. It was the ugliest situation I was ever in in my whole life. What was done was done contrary to the Bible, contrary to our bylaws. Said there was no basis morally, ethically, spiritually, doctrinally for any of the uh, accusations. And I said, but you have the right as a church to ask for my removal. According to our bylaws, that requires two weeks notice in a business meeting. So I said, in two weeks, we will have a vote to remove me from pastor. It came to the point where uh, everything snowballed and we came to this point where they asked for my resignation. I really thought about shaking the dust off my feet and just leaving, renouncing my membership and my pastor and leaving. And I had counseled with several godly pastor friends. I believe there was safety in a multitude of counselors and I did that. Counseled with my own pastor, who I still considered my pastor. And he said, Brother John, you ought to allow the Lord to make that decision. And so I decided to go through with the vote. So we went through with the vote, and um, the vote actually was in my favor. Two-thirds of our church walked out that night, and 75% of our income. So uh, the coming months and years were very difficult financially. Uh, I had gone to several people for advice, including a banker friend, a Christian friend. During that time, it was very difficult for me, very emotionally stressful. For the first time in my life, I started taking natural sleep aids, had terrible trouble sleeping. And uh, I started taking that, and that was a tremendous help. Had no side effects, wasn't a drug. And um, I had tremendous... Uh, tremendous upset in my stomach, in my inner being. My greatest fear was that I would quit and get out of God's will. I felt like I was failing. Here I came to a church and instead of building it, uh, we had a split. So my biggest difficulty really was questioning myself. And the Lord did remind me through this that he had called me. That became obvious and that he didn't change his mind. And that really was what kind of sustained me. I realize when God hides his face or he allows you to go through deep waters, he has a purpose in it. And I realized the purpose in my life was to purge me of pride, to refine me. Those were things that were necessary in my life. And unfortunately, to uh, do it, I had to go through some of these fiery trials. First with um, problems with people in the church, and then after that, uh, maintaining a church with one-fourth of our finances. And I'll tell you what, God, God did it. I think oftentimes we quit before we see God accomplishing his will in our life, which does take affliction. We're going to experience hurt, heartache, um, a lot of stress. But God will ultimately give us the victory. There are over 600,000 pastors in America. 
Half feel the demand of their calling is just too much. Over 30% feel the needs of the church go before the needs of the family. This Sunday, more than 400 pastors will resign because the role is just too overwhelming. We know that's not healthy, but hope is not lost. That's why we created Hope and Health Workshop. In this one-day workshop, you'll learn from an experienced coach, find the clarity you need to help your ministry spread like wildfire, and leave with practical tools that will unlock the secret to a healthy career in ministry. Your best days as a local church pastor are ahead.